We're particularly excited about the July issue of the American Journal of Psychiatry. This is a version of the journal that provides both new clinically relevant insights as well as insights on basic pathophysiology. As we've learned more about the diagnosis of schizophrenia, the sophistication of our neuroscience research has increased. This has allowed us to gather more clinically relevant insights out of post-mortem data. Dinal and colleagues report new findings that examine the structure and function of individual neurons within the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex of patients who have died with a diagnosis of schizophrenia. The new findings suggest that there is intrinsic dysfunction in individual neurons in patients with schizophrenia, and this provides important new data when we think about novel therapeutics. One of the goals that we seek from neuroscience and brain imaging research is to come up with new measures that might be clinically useful. Jacob and colleagues report important new results from a brain imaging study on the risk for dementia. And the important insights to emerge from this study come from the use of prospective data where aspects of cerebral vasculature are shown to predict risk for dementia. This brings us one step closer to coming up with novel neuroscience-informed brain imaging measures that help clinicians make the diagnosis of various syndromes, including dementia. Mm -hmm.